Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make one of these seed bead rings. It's kind of like a crown kind of design. So this is what they all look like. I'll just put them on for you. So they look like this. So on these ones, I've added these extra points. You can, there's a point in the video which I'll tell you where you can stop before you add the points and get something like this. If you want something a bit smaller and more simple. And the same for these, I did this in sort of like a daisy pattern. So depending on how you arrange the colors as well, you can make some different looking designs. So that's what we're making today. Before we get started, I just want to apologise in advance because I'm sat right next to my budgie today, Jeff. So there he goes. <laughs> he heard me say his name. So if there's any noise, I do apologise. So to make one of these rings, you will need some size 11 seed beads in four colours. And I'm going to be doing sort of an evil eye kind of inspired design for this one. So I'm going to use black a dark navy blue, a light blue and white. You'll also need your beading thread, whichever you prefer. And the length is going to vary depending on how big your ring is going to be. And a beading needle. That's all you need, so let's get started. So before you begin, um, you need to figure out what colours you're going to use and then where you want each colour that you've picked to appear on the final design. So I'm going to be referring to them as I make the design as colour 1, colour 2, colour 3 and colour 4. So lay your colours out in these slots so that when I say, you know, pick up a colour 2, you can go to your second pile instead of me saying picking up a white bead because you might not have white in that position and then it can get a bit confusing. So it's just going to be colour 1, colour 2, colour 3 and colour 4. And so on this design, so you can figure out which colour you want where. Colour one is this pink, clear pink bead here. That's where colour one sits. Colour two is where the white beads are on this one. So it's not much of that colour, colour two. Colour three is this one, probably the most uh, prominent colour, which is what makes up the points, this bronze colour. And colour four is going to be where these lime green beads are. So you want to pick your colour scheme and lay them out like that before we get started. So I've threaded my needle with a bit of thread and the first thing you need to do is pick up one colour two followed by three colour one, one colour two again followed by three colour one. So you should have this. Slide those down. leave a few inches for your tail and then you're going to sew back up through the first two beads so you're coming out of this colour one bead here okay so i'm coming out of that blue bead right there now we're gonna take our colour three so picking up one colour three Coming out of this one, go straight into that next one. Like that. So it pops in between. Picking up another colour three. This time you're going to go through the next three beads. So we have that. Picking up another colour three, coming out of this one, you're going to go straight down into the one next to it. And picking up one more colour three, this time you're going to go down through two, so you're coming out of this colour two here. Like that. And you should have this. 
Now I'm coming out of the bottom of this bead here. I'm going to pick up one of my colour four and go into that white one, that colour two opposite in the same direction that I'm coming out of this one. So I'm coming out through the bottom of this one. So I'm going to go down through the top. But I'm also coming out the bottom of that one opposite. Okay, make sure that that bead sits on the top like that and pull it nice and tight. Now you should have this. Now we're going to pick up a colour four colour two, colour four and going down through that one that we're coming out of but on the other side like that. Now we have this. Now we're going to move through the next two beads. So we're coming out of this white one. Okay, and now we're going to add another one of these little units. We've already got one bead, so this time we're going to pick up three colour ones, followed by one colour two and three colour ones. So this is what we have. And then you're going to go back through that bead that you're coming out of, but I'm coming out of this side, so I'm going to go back into it on the other side to create the loop. Okay, now we have this. Now I'm going to pass through this first bead in that little circle, just through the first one. And do what we did last time. So now we're picking up a colour three and going straight down through the next bead. Pull that nice and tight. Picking up another colour three. This time we're going down through the next three beads. Like that. Another number three. And straight into the next bead. And picking up one more colour number three. And go up through the next two beads. So the X tin out of this one in the middle. Pull that nice and tight. Now we have this. So this time, we're coming out the top of this middle bead on this side. We're going to go through the bottom. So we're coming out the top of this middle bead on this side. And we're going to pick up one colour four. And so go through that bead that's in the middle on this side. Like that. Making sure that that bead sits on the top and doesn't get caught and then pull it tight. Now you have this. Now we need to add this little unit again. So picking up a colour four, a colour two and a colour four and going back into that bead that we're coming out of on the opposite side. Now we're going to travel through the next two beads. Okay, so now we're ready to add another little unit. I'm going to show you one more time. So we're picking up three of your first colour, one of your second colour and three of your first colour. And going back through that bead that we're coming out of on the opposite side, whether that's the top or the bottom, it doesn't matter. So we have this and then you're going to move through one into the circle. Okay, now we're going to pick up one of your third colour straight through the next bead. Picking up another of your third colour, this time passing through the next three beads, don't forget. Picking up another one of your third colour, this time passing straight through the next one. 
and picking up one more of your third colour, this time going down through the next two beads. So you're coming out of the middle bead on this side of the little unit. Like that. Now always, if you're coming out the bottom of this bead, you want to be coming out the bottom of the one opposite. If you're coming out the top, then same, you want to be coming out the top. So pick up one of your fourth colour and your threads go on through the top. It's coming out the bottom of this one, so we're going to do the same into the bead opposite. So the thread's going to be coming out the bottom. Pull that tight. Now we have this. So now you need to add this little unit again. So that's just one of your fourth colour, second colour, fourth colour, and back into the one you're coming out of on the opposite side. And pass through the two beads. So now you're ready to add another unit. So you need to keep doing that until you get the length that's going to go around your finger. And then I'll show you what to do next. So if you need to rewind, you can do to watch that again as you do that next unit. That's perfectly fine. And then, yeah, I'll show you what to do next. So I've kept going and I've got to a length that's just about going to fit around my finger. And you need to be ending on one of these units like this. And then when you've got the length that you need, you're going to fold it in half, make sure it's not twisted. It's just folded like that. Okay, and then you're gonna pick up one of your color four and you should be coming out of this middle white bead or color two bead. You're gonna go into the middle white bead on the other side. So I'm coming out of this side, so I'm gonna go into the bottom of this one. Like that. So pull that down. Now pick up another of your fourth colour and now we're coming out this side, we're going to go into this side on this bead, this. Okay, like that. Pull that down and then pull it nice and tight. Now I'm just going to go around through those four beads again because that's where it's joined I just want to make sure it's not going to be coming loose while we work on the next bit okay so I've gone through all those and I'm exiting out of this bead here this white one color two now we have this so this is one of the points at which you can leave this ring if you want it to be more like this design so that's where you would stop and I think it's really nice just how it is. That's also what I did for the daisy chain one that I changed the colour pattern a bit. So I did all of these in one colour as you can see. I didn't use like a colour two in between. And then I just did yellow for the middles and green everywhere else for the leaves. But now I'm just going to show you how to add the points. So you need to move your thread up so you're exiting out of one of these beads at the top, one of these colour three beads. Okay, so I'm coming out of there. Now I'm going to pick up three colour three and go into the next one. So that's how I add the points. Now we're coming out here, we're going to move down through this colour four and up through this colour three on the next little unit. Now you see those strings, don't pull those tight just yet, not until we get right until the end. Just hold it, you know, the tension naturally how it is, don't pull it too tight. Now you're going to do the same again, so pick up three of your colour three. Go down into the next one, then move through this one in the middle and up into the next colour three. Picking up your three and you're going to do that all the way around this side. Okay. 
and then I'll show you what to do next. Okay, so I've just done my last little point and I'm coming out of this third colour. So I'm going to go down as always into this one. Now instead of moving back up this side, I'm going to move down through this one in the middle, this white one, this colour too. Still not pulling it too tight. And then I'm going to move up through the next two, so I'm coming out of another one of these colour three, but on the other side of the ring. Now you're just going to do the same thing on this side all the way around. So I'm just going ahead and add in my last one. And then I'm going to go down into that middle one that we always go through. Now at this point, if you want, you can pull it tight and your tension shouldn't, uh, the piece shouldn't change too much if you held your tension nice and loose. So that's the finished ring. Now I'm just gonna tie some knots with my working thread just by taking my needle underneath some of these threads that connect the two beads together and going through the loop two times like that. And then I'm gonna move that along again and tie some more knots. I'm going to tie as many as I can just because it's a ring and it gets like pulled on and off quite a lot and it needs to be quite secure. So I'm going to tie as many knots as I can with this, then thread your needle onto your tail thread and tie as many as you can with that and then we're finished. Okay so this is the finished ring, this is what it looks like. I really like these colours together actually, like from afar it's quite striking as well as up close. Some of the other colours that I have played around with. And this one with the pastels. And this one which has got some really nice different purple beads. Tiny little finger ring. <laughs> I've got one for every finger and thumb now. <laughs> so these are the finished rings. So I really hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. It's quite a simple pattern once you get the hang of the colours and where you're putting each colour. It's quite simple to follow. So let me know if you enjoyed it. Like this video if you did and subscribe to see more of my videos and comment down below anything else you'd like to see. Follow me on Instagram at Beading by Hannah. And thanks so much for watching, everyone. See you next time. Bye.